Hey guys, you know it. Happy Thursday. Um, I am really excited for this live because Jenna and I worked extremely hard on getting these ideas and garments, bringing them to life. And the marketing team did superb with actually uh, taking our vision and making it in a paper form. <laughs> so um, this fanware guide is amazing. I'm very excited, as you guys can tell. But um, we've got oh, it's on this side. Uh, we do have products to review. Now, I don't have a product. I don't have the product of, I don't have a sample of every single product in that guide because Jenna and I split that guide. So I'm going to show you um, what I have and we're going to go over the guide, let you guys ask any questions. Um, if you have not looked at the fanware guide or downloaded the guide, do it now, now, um, before we get started. So um, let me show you where to find that on uh, the stalls website. Um, uh, I did see, is it, is this safe to download? Yes. <laughs> um, so let's go there really quick and then we'll do this standard, but just in case if it takes um, you guys a little longer to download it. Um, I just want you to be able to have that because it also has clickable links to go and watch uh, YouTube videos on how we made those garments. So we thought all the way through this, we wanted this to be interactive. We wanted it to be helpful. We wanted to basically give you the tools to go boom. Um, this is what I need to be showing my customers to really make their apparel pop out and stand out. Um, let's see. Sharing the screen. Here we go. Okay. So if you go to stalls.com, um, in the banner images, they will scroll through. I think it's about every five maybe 10 seconds. If you click this arrow, you can go ahead and skip over the others and then you'll see it right here. So it says new fall fanware trend guide. Click on that link, okay? And then it's going to pop up right here. It will say download now. Um, now you do not have to be logged in um, and then it'll pop up all of this for you. So you can view it, then you can save it. Um, as you can see, I am not logged in. Um, so it's right there, okay? All right, so, hi, how's everybody doing? I feel like it's it's been a while. Um, I have a new office, so you're going to have to bear with the changes. Um, I've been very uh, open on showing you guys the real life office and no way am I showing you that right now. <laughs> so it's a mess in here. Um, quickly, how many decorators are um, decorating inside their house? So they are out of the garage or an office um, and then had to move. And then same thing for those of you that maybe had a brick and mortar, uh, left the brick and mortar and brought everything um, home, switched, whatever. It like quickly, oh, yep, there's a me, garage, Vince is in the garage. Oh, I love it. Basic Betty, that's amazing. Um, it's it's really crazy, Richard. Yes. Um, every time I kept packing a box, I couldn't believe that I, I continued to have more. And then it feels the exact same way um, unpacking. So my goodness. Um, okay, so I want to start a new thing. Um, we're going we're gonna to have a quick snack talk, okay? 
uh, start bringing snacks to these lives. It's going to be a quick moment for you to decompress in your day. We can chat. Um, but this is my snack. <laughs> I always have food around my desk. And I know this isn't the healthiest one, but this is brownie brittle. Um, and it's like the hard part of a brownie. So if you are pro uh, a crunchier brownie than uh, like a cake brownie, those are going to be your jam. So pop your pop your snacks in the comments, guys. We're just going to have fun. You guys know I like to have fun. Okay. So um, while you guys are popping those snack comments in, let's dive right in. Not this one. Mm. <laughs> oh, you can tell my office is like playing with my mind. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay. So the fanware guide. Now I am making sure that you guys can see this. Perfect. Okay, so this is just the intro. Um, we were really fortunate enough to team up with blank apparel companies. And that was the whole goal of this fanware guide is to give you those tools, those direct links, the product information. That way you do not have to second guess is this the product they used or not. So thanks to J America, SNS, Threadfast, Sanmar, LAT Apparel, Viv and Lou, and Champion, those are um, the blank apparel companies that we worked with throughout this um, guide. And they were really excited that we were working on this as well. Okay, so the first up trend, there are five different trends in this guide. And they're really more focus points um, because within each kind of section or category there's a variety of different trends but this is the easiest way we could break it down so y2k and the vintage edit so we are going back to the 80s and 90s early 2000s for that uh, type of look now i know it says y2k so it really is early 2000s inspiration but let's just face it uh, trends always circle. So there will be elements that will pull from the 80s and of course the 90s popping back into that Y2K. So um, the two piece right there at this top where it's dogs, those are two t-shirts layered. So this gives you really three different looks for only two pieces. So talk about maximizing a look for your customer. If you work with the school markets, two pieces, three different looks, easy, super, super easy. So we've got a crop here, and then we've also got a long sleeve crop. And then as you can see, once you remove um, the gray top, then you have bulldogs, bulldogs exposed. If you layer them, then it gives you a completely different um, look by adding fully decorated sleeves. Now, those are easy. You could customize them. You could give your customers the ability to choose whichever three or six pieces they would want down the sleeve. Add on, add on, add on. Make those $2 a pop. Um, you could do one sleeve as one cost, um, or this or that it's just your cost, but there are many different ways to make these work for different, um, types of customers, different demographics. And of course you can always add in those specialty materials like glitter flake or even metallic that will add another cost and a different element to that. Now, um, the Brighton Bulldogs with that raglan sleeve, that's just a really fun type of different movement going versus like the standard block. And then we are going back to decorating down the side of pants and shorts. Um, so as you can see right there, he's got BHS dogs with the left chest dogs as well. 
And um, the bulldog that we used is actually from Great Dane Graphics. So if you need help with any type of mascots, then you can check out Great Dane and see if they've got something that will cater to you as well. Um, okay, going on number two, let's go retro. Okay, so the vintage edit and Y2K, the vintage is kind of also pulling into the retro, but we're really taking it um, retro with that varsity type of inspiration. Now, I will say, if you guys haven't been to Target lately, I recommend going because at least here in Kansas City, there are sections with an entire varsity uh, overall look. That is one of their main focal points in the apparel section right now. So if you are questioning the braiding, the multiple lines going back onto the garment, color blocking, it's right there in Target. Um, obviously it's not uh, branded with a school or any type of lettering, but it is there. So the faster you can hop on that trend, the more you will be ahead of the game. So going back to our guide, hold on, I gotta get there. Okay, so sets. Sets are extremely popular. Fleece sets are huge. And this could be a hoodie and shorts. This could be a crew neck and joggers. It could be a cropped sweatshirt and joggers. Like you can mix and match all these sets. There is no right or wrong type of set out there right now. It's just sets. So as you can see, it does have that braiding down the side. I'll show you the actual garment here in just a second. And then we've added some dimensional products in there. We've done a soft foam in black so you know we're going to get a little dimension and then we've added silicone in white on top of that now why would we take foam and silicone soft foam is going to have a little bit more of a soft mat where silicone is going to be a little bit um a tiny bit of sheen so think of a satin but in a silicone so it feels matte but it has a little bit of a sheen to it and um both are dimensional now you cannot layer on top of silicone you can only layer on top of fo foam on top of foam or any other product on top of foam so this is why we chose to take silicone to the top um, and it just gives a little bit more of a contrast, again, with those different types of finishes. And then we did Brighton Bulldogs all down the side. And these were two different transfers. It's the same materials that were lined up, okay, on the desk with a ruler. And then all we did was hit that at once. We did not um, do two applications. And I'm pretty sure I did one application because I've got the Brighton Bulldog. I've got an extra um, logo. But in case you need to do two separate ones, you easily can. Um, next, coming back into the crew socks. Here it's shown with a textured twill. And um, again, I have these. I'll show these to you. I do not have the hat. Um, and then I do have the skirt. Now, this was just a really, really fun add-on, but really tying into that varsity look, you're going to be getting um, a little flair with that pleated cheerleading skirt. Now, that is from Augusta, and not everybody's going to want to put this on, but I guarantee you um, there's going to be some girls out there that would absolutely love wearing this to some games, or it's even another really fun option um, for cheerleaders if they're looking for a more affordable type of skirt, or they're not doing full uniforms, you can still go get them a skirt. Okay, so then the raglan with the sport striping uh, down on the bottom right-hand side is actually CAD prints uh, printable glitter. So it is glitter flake 
that was printed on with an eco solvent eco solvent printer and you can actually sublimate onto glitter as well dogs was used with our shoe platen in order to create that logo so we've we've wardrobe from head to toe right here we've literally done a hat all the way down to socks and shoes the only thing you're not seeing on this page is a backpack or fanny pack or um side bag oh my god what are we calling these wear mine almost every day and i can't ever remember it's always going to be a fanny pack to myself so right here we can go as simple and as bold as we want simple meaning it's white and black nice block font or we've added some texture in with the bulldog and just really brought some life to these items even that glitter flake and that logo specifically is such an easy logo to just change your material we went um from maybe something like screen print or ultra color max to a printable glitter not only do we have full color capability but we also have that added sparkle all right trend three outerwear okay again it's not really a trend it's just more of a focal point okay utilize those bigger profit items right you can sell a denim jacket for way more than what you could just a standard um gildan crew sweatshirt now that's because they weren't two different like they weren't two different costs but they also have a higher perceived value so with texture and details of little elements like the variety of stars and different materials um even with that full bull uh bullhead bulldog head even going down to the camo jacket that says bulldog sikkim that's got a variety of different placements, but it's still very, very trendy. Now, with outerwear, okay, it's not so much the trend of the outerwear. It's more about how you are decorating the outerwear. What's the texture? Um, is there a pattern to it? How is it unique to just something that might already be in the closet? So while basics are always excellent, people will... Uh, sometimes value basics a little bit more because you might be able to get a longer lifeline out of them. Something with a little pop and pizzazz typically warrants a higher cost depending um, on the brand and obviously the cost of the garment itself. So as you are thinking about what type of outerwear should we be offering, you can see there's two items on here from Threadfast. And if you are not familiar with Thread, Threadfast, definitely check them out. That is a black uh, kind of faded wash denim jacket, excellent weight, uh, more relaxed. It is unisex. So you don't have to worry too much about something being too small or too big. It is a unisex fit. And then same thing for the Letterman jacket, which is actually a really, really soft poly wool. Um, I don't know if it has any spandex in it or not. Uh, I'd have to go back and check, but it's just a really, really heavy weight, but easy to move in type of jacket. Um, the SNS active wear item 8715 is J America. And then um, the CO126, um, I cannot remember what item that one is. That's one that uh, Jenna had decorated. Okay, so accessories. All right, what accessories are your customers going to take in to games? This doesn't have to be um, secondary education. This 
could even be for pro teams if you have that license or if you are uh, recreating um, pro team inspired pieces. But just take a minute to kind of let your eyes scan over this entire PDF because there's a lot going on, but it's such an excellent way to get really, really cool ideas. Whether you are taking a simple backpack and just putting um, a no so embroidery logo like our Permatwill, taking a um, car organizer, and maybe that is something that is stocked with game day necessities. So a blanket, it could be the clear bag that you might need to get in, any uh, a cooler, your seat cushion, um, extra little warm hand things to keep you warm throughout the game. So if you're looking for, okay, what's something really unique that I could add to that customer base, find the item and then find the reason why they need that item. They need that item for their car because they can put it in and take it out and already have everything decorated. So it's just a way to think about, um, you know, something if you're like, well, I don't know why that really makes sense. Um, and these wholesale boutique earrings right here, um, obviously we can't decorate on those, but it is a great way to pull everything in. A lot of these, we used glitter flake, we used um, soft foam, permatwill, metallic, uh, I believe CAD, not CAD prints, but CAD cut fashion film electric. I'd have to go scanning through. Yep. Fashion film electric. Um, I mean, ultra color max. I don't know if I said that one or not, but just a variety of different uh, pieces on this one. Now, remember, these are also easy add on sales. So this um, crossbody bag would be excellent to go with this type of look or paired with this uh, BHS uh, crew neck and joggers. Okay, so last but not least, and I recommend that you get started on this now, is if you're doing anything for October or breast cancer awareness, uh, September is right around the corner, and then October will definitely start. And a lot of times, some schools can be behind in wanting to do something, so if you can be proactive, then way to go so this is just a variety of items that is based off using one sheet which is ultra color max and as you can see in that bottom left hand corner that is the actual sheet gained um, that was printed and used to decorate all of these items so we were able to get two of these sweatshirts for both a youth and adult and I'll tell you that Independent Trading Co. Um, pink tie-dye crew neck does not come in youth, but you can easily just get a uh, pink crew neck for a youth item. And then that star T, uh, that is shown as a youth, but I believe there is adult. But we were able to get a youth and adult logo on that sheet as well. And then the Spirit Squad T, which has a right sleeve placement, um, that was on the sheet in both youth and adult. And then same thing for that bucket hat um, that you could either use the smiley face or you could use the Support Squad logo. Now, all of that cohesively goes together. It's the same ribbon. And of course, we incorporated the Paul with the pink ribbon. And um, as far as the uh, smiley face, you know, that's just really about embracing the power of pink and um, supporting breast cancer awareness, but you could easily uh, change the X to a paw and make it what you need. So, okay, that is all five categories and um, there are videos connected not to every single product but 
um, at least one, two videos on that guide that show you how we recreated those, um, go over the banks, blanks, the information. It'll take you directly to YouTube. So you can use that as a learning, a learning tool. So let's go over these products. Okay. So up first, let's do, what was this? Retro. <laughs> They're not organized in my lineup. Okay. So you can already see that glitter, um, wanting to sparkle and i'll tell you my light is a little bit farther away but in person when the light hits this this is a really really crazy sparkle um and this was one hit so this wasn't one two three four four or five different hits this is one transfer boom done easy to go and because it's a cotton poly application you could actually turn around and put this on a crew neck a sweatshirt reuse this logo for multiple things if you need it to be a little bit easier in production okay also let's take these so this is your sweatshirt and this has got some excellent weight j america and independent trading co um, I'm just a big fan of a lot of their fleece. It's always very soft, great quality. It's dense. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed the braiding down the sleeve on this just because I haven't seen anything from other vendors like this. It is also unisex. And because of this camera, I'm not going to be able to show you the true dimension but you could kind of see a little bit in that picture, but it is raised. You do have that soft mat. And then we've got that silicone that has just a little bit of a grip. This was a two-step application. So the black went down first. As you can see, there is a black, very small outline. And then the white just went right on top. And then same thing for the pants. Like I said, I pretty sure I line those up and then place them versus doing uh one on one but I have to go back and remember either way is not wrong so do what's easier for you but again you have that foam here and the silicone here now I would not recommend putting silicone on any type of product that um the person is going to be sliding Okay, it does have a little bit of a gripper effect. So think about um, a volleyball player wearing a tank or a t-shirt with silicone going in for a dig or something and, you know, right there. So every day is great, but just keep in mind if it is for um, an athlete or somebody that would potentially need to be on the floor, just keep that in consideration. Okay, and here is the skirt where we used the Permatwill logo. So a lot of these pieces have the same type of logo. So not only are we reusing certain transfers, we're showing you how to place it in different locations, maximize your order quantity, and um, really just a way to kind of keep your life easier when it comes to decoration and being able to you know turn out that product quicker all right so let's go outerwear ah, she's a beaut clark i love her um so this is texture twill and as you can see there is some texture in this versus the twill you can actually see twill this also has a little bit more of a sheen where uh, perma twill is more of a mat. Think of this as a satin, like a satin stitch. And then perma twill is, is true poly twill. Um, we've got soft foam and glitter flake. You can layer, okay, glitter flake on top of soft foam. So we've, again, created that dimension. And what I did to maximize my stars, okay? is I did the outline 
and I easily weeded away some of these larger and turned around and used those versus throwing them throwing them away. So we really, really maxed up ooh, there we go, maximized um, our material on this jacket. You can press over seams, use your pillow onto pockets. You can just have fun with it. Doesn't have to be one of those where everything is identical. You can make your own. Let's just see if that helps. All right, this is J America, and I'm obsessed with the uh, chevron or herringbone texture in this. It does have a little bit of texture, but the pattern is great. It's got that snap. So it's really kind of like that sweater fleece, um, but just making it a little different. You've got a pocket here and you do have a little bit higher placement. So it's more um, right above, I'd say a little bit higher than maybe where a left chest would be closer to your uh, sternum collarbone is what that is. This comes in a couple of colors, like an oatmeal and then the charcoal. Both colors are absolutely beautiful. And this was textured twill. Okay, so very, very lightweight. Um, this has some great movement to it because we're not, but because we're not putting a stitch in it, it's got even better movement, especially through the arms. All right, so last but not least is our power in pink collection which is ultra color max transfer like i said it's very very simple very easy to apply then we've got support squad with a full back and then we've got that right sleeve placement to really just keep everything tying in together and then last but not least, this guy, again, this is Independent Trading Co. And this is one of the softest crew necks. Uh, I absolutely love the fit of this, the weight, um, and then the overall feel, especially for it being um, dyed. Now, this is, I wanted to tell you the makeup of it. It's 80 percent cotton 20 percent polyester it does say wash cold i'm assuming that the pink and the tie-dye is obviously a little more important uh, to make sure it's not bleeding but you can also see <coughs> that my white is still a pretty stark white we don't have any bleeding um i would hang dry just to keep the heat away from it. But this is done excellent in terms of uh, how the product has been over the last couple of, I think for like a month, month and a half, two months. Now, the last thing I wanna show you that was not created for the guide was this. And I've always gotten comments on it. A lot of times it's in my videos uh, that would be on the back wall with my two grid walls. And this is another one really pulling into that uh that let's go retro um you've got your big block letter on the front we've got black soft foam then we've got uh red okay glitter flake and then we have an outline of white soft foam so this is not red glitter flake on top of the white it is red glitter flake on top of the black which gives us a whole other dimension from the side where the white is actually the highest point so this is another um, option that you could easily do and recreate still keeping in that uh, retro look and feel and this nice contrasting split him it's just a, a timeless piece so those are the items. Oh, the last ones are the socks. So this is the texture twill. Let's see. Okay, so the texture twill was just placed right on top. It's got some great movement, so you don't have to worry about anything being 
uh, rigid. And then the other one, I actually did CAD prints, uh, super tech in matte clear. Now, if I were to have put this bulldog over the black or the red, uh, he would have changed colors because it is a clear product. Um, but since I put it on the white, we have a nice pop. But I like how he, how he moves. And of course, this is very, very thin, almost feeling like it is sublimated into the sock without the sublimation. Now, with this guy, you can put it over whatever you would like because he is um, opaque. Okay. Any questions? What do you guys think? Have you looked at it previously? Uh, did you find it helpful? Um, even before seeing the products, love to see, love to, um, there we go, hear your feedback on that and see if you guys had any questions. Uh, we've got about five, ten minutes. Um, tofu snacks. <laughs> Checking in on the comments. Um, and just so you know, um, Carly did post uh, the link to download the fanware guide right here. And you can also go to uh, stalls.com like I showed you. But if you are tuning in live, then you can go ahead and click these links in the comments for both Facebook and YouTube. All oh, very helpful. Great. I love it. Okay, I'm taking a drink. For some reason, my voice is just going out on me. That's my drink of choice. I feel like it's my afternoon pickup. Very nice and helpful. Thank you. I'm glad. Okay, good. So we've gotten um, just a couple of you saying very helpful. Um, but I will take it. Always let us know if um, you you like those guides because I know, um, like I said, Jen and I had a great time, um, getting everything kind of pieced together and watching it come to life. Um, Carly, am I missing anything? Trade shows are going on. Okay. So if you are wanting to go to one in your area or see if one is available, let me just quickly show you where to go. Okay, so back on the stalls, you can go to more, and then it says events and webinars. So clicking right there, it'll show you any upcoming events. So we've got a live event September 7th through the 8th. We've got Graphics Pro 16th through the 17th. I will actually be at that one. We've got Special Effect Finishes for Premium Results. And then we've got uh, Heat Press Pro Day on the 29th. Um, I know Jenna will be at that one. And I believe Dave... Possibly Vicky. I'm trying to remember everybody that will be there. That will be um, for the Impressions Fort Worth show, which is the next one, September 30th through October 2nd. And then it just keeps going on. So Heat Printing 101, Printing United, MBS. And I believe Sports Inc. takes us through the end of the year. Okay, let's we get reading the last couple comments. Um, okay, so Carly also posted the events in the link as well. So you guys can just go ahead and grab that when doing goof proof on pants. <clears throat> okay, uh, so the Heat Press Pro Day presenters are Josh, Dave, Jennifer, and Jenna. So um, you will be able to see Jennifer Johnson. Um, she will be presenting 
and um, Josh, Dave, and Jenna. So awesome, awesome. Let me see, read this. When doing goof proof on pants, would be okay to use a pillow or mouse pad? I don't have the good pant or sleeve pattern. Okay, so if you are using goof proof, that is a screen printed transfer. So we are going to X pillows. Okay, we want to use um, mouse pads. We want that density. Okay, so definitely go with the mouse pad over the pillow. Um, now, I didn't use goof proof. I used um, CAD cut materials, which is heat transfer vinyl, which then you would use a pillow or mouse pad. You could do either one. Um, and I will be honest, I didn't use the the pant platen. Um, I used a pillow, but that was because, again, I was using um, vinyl over screen printed transfer. So if you're doing goof proof, go, go mouse pad. Okay, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. You guys know you can always reach out with any questions. You can DM us. You can reach out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Feel free to comment. You can call Stalls, Transfer Express, and we will do whatever we can to make sure we are guiding you down the right path. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next time, and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.